the grace and the mercy of God, we're not justified by the law. And we, we don't operate from a cardinal perspective, but a spiritual perspective. You're listening today, and this is my introduction. We've got it. I, we had a, like about an hour, 21 segment that I have now cut down to uh, small segments for you to digest what we're talking about. So I want you to enjoy the study that's coming up. And just, but the bottom line is this, you're not under the law. I know people want you to be under the law. I know people want to sit there and condemn people under the law. But the fact is that you're not justified by the law. They know you're not justified by the law. And the fact is that you're not supposed to be trying to condemn other people uh, by the law because you live by faith. And we, we know that the law is there for a schoolmaster. We know that the law is good. But the problem is that it, it is weak to the flesh. So we don't say you have the right to choose, woman. So we're going to say you going to hell and all the other people that support you. Come on, uh, body of Christ. Don't be fallen. Don't get into that trap where we sit there and become so legalistic. And we, we, we don't recognize that all that sin comes short of the glory of God. You all know that. And you know that the law was weak. And therefore, you can't sit there, judge other people by the law because the law is weak in the flesh. Why are you suddenly weak when you have something strong? Whoa, come on now. What's stronger? The anointing, the body of Christ. The Bible says in, in Romans, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Who strengthens me? Huh? He said, God before me, who can be against me? That, that's not based on the law. And then we don't trust each other because that's why we sit there and say we want the law because we don't believe a believer. We're talking about a believer. We're talking about a believer. We don't believe a believer can live without the law. Oh, man, because the law, look, this is what I'm saying. The law was a schoolmaster, but the law is not what dictates us. The law is not what we're guided by. We don't walk by the law. We don't live by the law. We live by faith. We walk by faith. That's what we do. That's who we are. That's what our strength is. And we bear the fruits of the Spirit. We're talking about in Galatians 5. 22 to 23, and then the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temper. Against such, there is no law. See, I'm saying is I'm led by the spirit of God. And if I allow the, the Holy Spirit, come about the fruit of the spirit, come up, the Holy Spirit, hey, if the Holy Spirit is what's manifested in me to out of me the characteristics of the holy spirit why do i need the law i don't need the law and i don't need to impose the law on anybody because they don't live by the law we don't live by the law we don't need the laws out here you don't need the law if you're operating in the fruit of the spirit, if you're allowing the Holy Spirit, why do you need the law? And you don't need to enforce the law because you can't change people by the law. You don't need to get upset and offended because somebody is not complying to the law. You're supposed to continue to preach the gospel and is that there's laws, and we even got our own national laws or laws of the country. If those people, if those laws, if the people don't follow those laws, then we got people as ministers to enforce the law. They don't hold the sword in vain. Let them enforce the law. But for the most of us, we're not called to be 
forces of the law, you don't need to get upset because it's taken not strange that people do things if they're not led by the Holy Spirit or by the flesh. If they live, if they go by the flesh, they do the things that they do because that's what they are. Don't, 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 don't lose it. You know, don't, don't. Christ was so upset about the Jews that sit there and want to uh, enforce the law on people. They, they missed Christ because they were thinking about the law. Come on, say. He said, we don't have the spirit of Cain. Why is that the spirit of Cain? Well, the spirit of Cain is because the first man born in this world by Adam and Eve killed his second brother, his baby brother, the first man that came from Adam and Eve killed his brother and, and then cry about the fact that, that the, the judgment God gave him. God, God didn't even kill him. He had cooked him to death. He gave him a curse. And, and he said there said that was more than he could bear. He was worried about somebody killing him after he killed his baby brother. Isn't that something? No repentance, no remorse. Just just saying what he can he can bear. Not thinking what Abel could bear, right? But Abel he killed. Isn't that like the first man? That's the flesh. That's the cardinality. We're born in cardinality. You know what I mean? We're born in cardinality. And we got to get back off of that cardinality. And hey, Pat, we got to get off of that cardinality and start recognizing. Man, I'm not led by the flesh. And I'm not led by the law. I'm led by Christ. That is what it's all about. That is what we're supposed to hold on to. That is what we're supposed to trust in, is to walk by faith, not by sight, <laughs> praising his holy name. Glory to God. That's what we're supposed to do. You know, so I put on the slide here. My brother Adam was trying to come in. I guess he, he couldn't come in. He, he'll come in when he can. Is we're not enforcers of the law. Stop trying to enforce the law and start trusting in the power of the Holy Spirit for you and for the person who's called himself believers in Christ. That's what he wants us to do. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. And, and, and welcome, Brother Addison. God bless you. Make sure I can, make sure, I, <laughs> hey, I better go check my old stuff to make sure I, uh, let me make sure I got my audio on. Let's see here. We got a brother Addison here. I got a webcam. Let me put my speaker on. We'll test it, make sure it's squared away because we got a famous person in here. And I can hear that, so I can hear. Yeah. How too? Hallelujah. I can see him on the. Hey, brother. Hey. Okay, so I was letting you know, Brother Addison, I was talking about the fact that, man, we, I was, I was dealing with seeing people, uh, believers, talking to co-workers, and, and I was basically saying is that we need to stop being legalistic and showing our ugliness when somebody else doesn't follow the, the, what they perceive as the law, opposed to walking by the Holy Spirit. The Bible said that in first in John chapter one, verse twelve, he said, "He was led by the Spirit of God, are the children of God, and the fruits of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace." You talk about Galatians five twenty two to twenty three. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there's no law. And therefore, if you are a believer walking in the spirit of God, then you're not walking under the law. And we're sitting there trying to condemn other people because we think they, they should live by the law. And yet, and then the worst part is we want to try to enforce people to live by the law, and they can't. The law is weak, and I wanted to show the scriptures we're dealing with that. So I'm going to go up here. This is what I was, this is what I'm talking about today. Real quick is saying is we don't have the spirit of Cain. I just explained to them about 
Cain spirit, that murdering spirit. He killed, he's the first man born of man, Adam and Eve, and he killed his baby brother. Uh, and, and the fact is that we don't, we don't, we can't enforce laws on people because we can, the law is weak. And here's the scripture that I'm talking about. I start off in Romans 8 with everybody, and I'm showing the slides here, because the whole purpose was to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. And we're equipping you and telling you, you don't have to be super saint, and you definitely don't have to be legalistic because you can't do and live by the law, but you live by the Spirit of God. That's where the power is, and that's what these scriptures are going to show you. Verse 1. There's therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, which are in Yeshua, which are in the Savior. No condemnation because you're dwelling in him. He is our representative. He is the blood that washed away our sins. He is our covering. He is our mediator. He is our deliverer. He is our healer. There is no condemnation to those which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but what? After the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Saints, listen to me. Those who you can watch and hear live on air. You are free from the law of sin and death because you're not walking in the flesh. You're walking in the spirit. And you need that. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the grace of the Holy Spirit. You need the anointing of the Holy Spirit to walk you out of those things uh, that easily beset us. Easily beset us to sin. He says right here. Verse three. This this is this is Brother Addison. I, I, I didn't hear you yet. I, I think you said something, didn't I thank you? But you can be quiet. You know me, I roll I'm, I'm on a roll here. <laughs> he said, verse three, for what the law could not do. Listen what I'm trying to come from. For what the law could not do. I didn't write that. I didn't suggest that. This is what the word is saying. That's what I'm saying is believers. We are not held under the law. And then we can't really expect people who don't know Christ to operate under the law because the Bible says here, for what the law could not do, I did not write that. That's not a suggestion. The word said, for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. As a believer, we don't operate in the flesh. We don't both operate in the flesh. We know we got to fight the wars of the flesh and also all the principalities, but we don't walk in the flesh because the, what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sent his own son in the likeness of what? Sinful flesh and for sin, condemn sin and the flesh. Christ did that. God sent his son. He sent his son in the likeness of sinful flesh. For verse 4, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, <laughs> but after the spirit. That's what we walk after. Therefore, we shouldn't be condemning anybody else because they are walking in the flesh. We need to encourage them to walk in the spirit because we can get them walking in the spirit. They have that liberty to grow. And why he wants us to have that, 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 that sympathy. We're supposed to give, you know, I receive our salvation based on grace. Our salvation is grace on mercy. You both, to, you receive mercy, you give mercy. Not sit there and be that mean, 
nasty looking, sucking on a living Christian who sit there and say, I can't tolerate sin. Well, you can't tolerate yourself because if you can't tolerate and have the mercy and grace and allow the Holy Spirit to work on that person, just like he's working on you, then you are in the flesh. And you can't try to impose laws that don't work. It doesn't work. The law does not, the law is good, but it doesn't work because it does, it's weak in the flesh. He said, look at this verse five. I, I want to say this sure. I, I told this guy in the, in the hallway uh, last week, and he was like, huh, we got to live on the law. Well, look at this. For they that after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Matter of fact, if you're sitting there going by the law, you, you're going by the flesh that you're looking at. But they that after the spirit, the things of the what? Spirit. <laughs> For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. The reason I need to be spiritually minded, despite my shortfalls, despite my weaknesses, I am more, I have more peace than the peace of God was a passive all understanding. The peace of God, I like that one scripture for Lazarus says is that he who began a good work on me, <laughs> he who will begin a good work on me is faithful to finish it. And I believe by walking by faith, then anybody comes in the body of Christ, the work begins on them through Christ, through the Holy Spirit, not by me and not my impatience, not my mercy not unmercy and ungrace it's by it because look at this right here verse seven that's the creek that's the critical piece i'm saying and anybody else want to you know if if anybody wants to and i i, I use these and talking now so that if anybody wants to go chew on it, i want you to chew on it i want you to look at the word for yourself i want you to study and see what it means because the bottom line is we're not successful by the flesh it says right here because the cardinal mind, if I'm cardinal minded, living and watching and trying to make people do things to the flesh, knowing that they can't be successful in the flesh, being cardinal minded, he said, because the cardinal mind is enmity against who? God. For it is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can be in other words i can't serve worship be a servant be a child of god in my cardinal way of thinking nor do i suspect anybody who's cardinal to to be able to subject themselves to the law of god because the bible says here is that right brother as it says right here it said for it is not subject to the law of God. Why would I get upset? Why should I lose my peace? Why should I lose my joy for somebody who operates in the law or operate cardinally because they're not subject to the law of God? That's why when I talked before you came, I said all the atrocities of ministry, not the body of Christ, not the true body of Christ, but of ministry who sat there and, and did all the type of atrocity. I mean, how can you sit there and lynch somebody? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. How can you cut people's hands off while they're alive? Fingers off, excuse me. Cut their toes off while they're alive. How can you do that? You cannot be part of the body of Christ. You're not. You're not operating in the spirit, and yet you. We talked about the fact that a mass shooting. He's like. There ain't nobody in the, on, the, on the Christ. I'm not led by the Holy Spirit. In the law, it was a, it's a law against killing. It didn't stop them. Because the cardinal mind is not subject to the law. The cardinal mind, the law is there to, to, to enforce. You know, you got, you got police officers, the, those who are both to be ministers of, of, of the law. They, their sword is not supposed to be in vain, but they're supposed to use it for those people who break uh, what's called spiritual laws as well as, well, they can't break, not spiritual laws, but laws that 
deals with hurting other people, uh, they have laws for that. They got ministers and police officers to do that. They then we need to got a problem with them. But the whole point is that we can't please God in the flesh. And we can't enforce the law in the flesh because the living by the law is living by the weakness that it has that comes along with trying to impose the law on somebody that's especially minded. So that's my position that the word says that those who are cardinal minded, verse 7, because the cardinal mind is enmity against God, for it's not subject to the law of God, neither be dead feet. And any of us trying to make people live by the law, you're going to have some problems. And, and that's why I want to make sure I bring that out. That's my position. Stop trying to enforce something that people are weak in. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't, don't go by the law. Go by the spirit. And encourage people to go by the spirit. So all believers, be spiritually minded. Because if you're trying to be calling minded and live by the law, it's, it's weak. And you're not going to be successful. And the bottom line is, we're supposed to live by faith. Let me come on for a second, then I'll come back on. I'm just going to make sure everybody is waking you up on about it. Uh, the Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. 